behavior in the age of AIDS, and it's about the spread of AIDS in heterosexuals. Masters and Johnson say the virus is breaking out of the traditional risk groups. The book hasn't hit the stores yet, but as Mindy Blake reports, some health experts already disagree with its findings. The Center for Disease Control estimates 30,000 American heterosexuals with no risk factors may be carrying the AIDS virus. Sex researchers Dr. William Masters and Virginia Johnson say it's more like 200,000. In their new book, they write, authorities are greatly underestimating the number of people infected with the AIDS virus and it's running rampant among heterosexuals, although they admit there's no scientific backup. All the evidence that we have, which has been scientifically analyzed, points exactly the opposite way. What I mean is that although there is a risk to heterosexuals, it's, an, it's a very minimal risk, and it's, it's not difficult to define under what circumstances you would be at risk if you're having, for example, a great deal of exposure to somebody who is at a high risk. If there is a heterosexual outbreak, many researchers are asking why they aren't seeing it. Potterat says a classic example disputing the Masters and Johnson theory is military AIDS test results. One in 1,500 people tested positive, and 90% of them were in the high-risk group, IV drug users or homosexuals. We've tested, you know, probably several million people. And when you have that kind of a pool of people to draw from, you would begin to see if there were uh, signs that it was breaking out in rampant fashion, as was explained. And that you can be, you'd be absolutely sure the word rampant is complete nonsense. Excerpts from Masters and Johnson's controversial book are in this week's issue of Newsweek. In Colorado Springs, Mindy Blake, Eyewitness News.